Hey guys, this is Finisher Retro, the new plugin by UGM, part of the Finisher series. And this time we get the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s vibe in a plugin. And the idea behind the Finisher series plugins, and this one also, is that we have modes. Each of the modes is basically a combination of different effects. We don't really have insight to how it is wired, how it is working under the covers, but we do have four different variation controls and one finisher knob in the middle to control the mix. So I'm gonna show you this on one of my tracks. And of course, before that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading new stuff all the time. Of course, if you have any questions or anything at all, just leave comments below this video. I'm gonna put lots of links in the description of this video. So check them out. Like for example, my Facebook page, Twitch, Twitter, and all of that. So let's get down to the details. All right, so what we have here is, first of all, we have the top bar here with the presets and we have lots of presets to choose from. Pretty simple. Then we have save, save as, and some other option as well as resizing the whole uh, plugin. Now, here in the middle, we have the mode. So when you click this title here, you'll get the different categories like the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And for each one of them, you'll get different modes. When you select the mode, then you get a little bit of explanation here, not a lot of what it is all about. And then you'll get the assignment of the variation controls. Now the first three, one, two, and three, they will be specific to the mode that you select. So whatever you select, you'll see different assignments. But the fourth one, the variation control four is always color and this is high pass, low pass uh, filter. So you can just play with that and get the different feel of how it sounds. So let's experiment now. I'm going to solo this track here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So you have to experiment because there's not a lot of information about what's going on inside. So let's try something else. Let's get something from the 80s and I'll get, uh, for example, this, uh, I don't know, Dimension Chorus or maybe Dimension D. Let's try that. Pretty cool. Next, let's try something completely different. Let's go to the 70s and let's try Dreamer. Right, that was pretty cool. Let's try something else. Let's go for the vocals here. So I'm going to close this one and let's just pick one of the vocals. For example, this one here. And I'm going to just load retro. I already have finisher flux here. So we're going to keep it because it's part of the vibe, but I'm going to add also finisher retro. Pretty nice. Let's try something else. It's probably Memory Man. Pretty cool. 
Let's try something else now. Let's go for the drums. So these, these are Nemesis drums by UGM. Again, check my channel for the complete review of that one. But now let's try and put Finisher Retro here and see what it can do on a complete drum track. So I'm going to load that one. Very nice. So definitely something that you can automate and get that going through the, uh, you know, when you're mixing stuff. So you don't have to keep it static. But for now, let's move on to some other part of this uh, of this track. So I have this uh, kind of melody thing here. So let's uh, let's listen to that one. Cool, let's put retro. Next, let's try this on the strings here. So I'm going to put retro, close this one. Next, let's try on the Iron again. Another great plugin by UGM. This is Virtual Guitarist Iron, and all it does here in this uh, in this bit is this. And last, let's try that on the Stradivari violin that I have here. So I'm going to just solo that one. Let's listen without.
Okay, so that was Finisher Retro. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have any questions or anything at all, just leave comments below this video and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And if you're not subscribed to my channels, please subscribe as I'm uploading new stuff all the time. You can also follow me in Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. All the links are in the description of this video. And that's it. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.